All right, we figured this is uh, an HP, and on one of the websites, it shows it draws about 120 watts. Now, I've got this, I don't know, 800 watt power supply here. This thing has a 600 in it, but we're using this one. And we're just kind of watching what it's just drawing sitting here, 1.5 watts. Then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna boot it up. And we'll see how much it actually wants to draw. I saw 60 for a second, 50, 74. So what I want is I, I leave my computers on most of the time and I don't want something that's drawing like 300 watts constantly because that actually adds up. See how quick that thing boots? It's nuts. Okay. I'm going to guess this one's probably just going to draw about 100 watts. Somewhere around that, just doing nothing. I have one of these other computers with the old processor. It was drawing like, oh geez, 25 watts or something crazy. So, what we want to do is just try a few different things and see what, how does, what does it draw with that video card? What does it draw with a different video card? What does it draw with embedded graphics? Um, another thing too, we didn't uh, calculate um, any of the other stuff. I could probably plug this into it and then like hook multiple things. So calculate for the monitor. Who knows, the monitor might pull more than the damn computer because it's pretty old. Um, so this one's sitting here at 60 something right now, so that's not too bad. Um, these things are really handy. I found this one at the thrift store a long time ago. There's other different ones, uh, but menu on it's a little complicated to try and like figure out, like because you're going in the menu and it wants to figure out your cost based on this rate. And you have to like figure out. So I think you need to be like in the. Let's just say you were in the cost menu. It would go up and down. It's gonna go per hour, per day, per year. And the rate, the kilowatt hour, elapsed time. So you need to be in the voltage part, and you push up, down the PF power factor. Hertz, volt amps, which I'm not really sure. I don't understand why they measure volt amps. Volt amps are kind of like a different equation of watts. I can see seeing how many amps something is drawing. You know, I can see how many watts, but the volt amp reading kind of means nothing to me. 0.58 amps, it's not too bad. Um, 62 watts, that's pretty good.